I'm Quincy Kennedy with Grassroots Sports. And you're hanging out with us in the Argentine Hotel, the first stop of three stops we have going on today for Super Bowl 51. Tom Brady and the Patriots, the GOAT, and Matt Ryan and Atlanta Falcons is going down here in Australia on a Monday morning. Most people are at work, but as you can see, we have some committed Patriot fans behind me. So uh, definitely rooting for uh, Tom Brady and the boys. But you're hanging out with uh, stop number one, Argentine Hotel. We're gonna make our way, make our rounds. Super Bowl 51, it's Monday morning. Who needs work when you have Super Bowl 51? I'm Quincy with Grassroots Sports. I'm hanging out here with Chris, head coach of the Cobras. Chris, how are we going, mate? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, fantastic. We're sitting here, Super Bowl 51. I uh, saw some people behind us a second ago. I think it was pretty much a, a Tom Brady group here with the yeah, Patriots. Yeah. Who are you guys rooting for? Um, I want the Falcons to win, but I, I think the Patriots' defense is just too good, and I think they'll stop Atlanta. So I want the Falcons to win, but I think the Patriots will. I don't know. After the first quarter, Atlanta already has two sacks on Tom Brady. Atlanta's defense is looking pretty good. Yeah, they are. They're definitely stepping up. Both defenses, like everyone's predicting a shootout and yeah, nil all at the end of the first quarter. So it's definitely going to be a good game. Absolutely. It's really good. So talk to us a bit. So obviously you're doing the gridiron thing here in Australia, head coach of the Cobras. You're in that community. You're sitting here watching the Super Bowl. So obviously gridiron is a big part of your life here. Tell us a bit more. How did you get into gridiron? And uh, I see you rocking the Green Bay hat. So <laughs> unfortunately they didn't make it. I'm happy because they beat Detroit. So uh, being from Detroit myself. But yeah, so give us your background and uh, you know how you got plugged into Gridiron. Okay. Uh, well, I grew up in Sydney, down um, in Sutherland, uh, in the Sutherland Shire, in southern Sydney. I was driving to the beach one day, and they were playing it on the field, and I was like, "Oh, I'll go have a watch." And I uh, got into it, and uh, that was back in oh, 2002. Um, so I played most of my career down in Sutherland. Um, I moved up here about four years ago and played one year on the Central Coast, had a year off and then played two years with the Cobras before coaching. Um, I've played for the state twice. I've played in the World Cup for Australia and we got smoked by America. So, yeah, so I've been around the sport for a long time and, yeah, and I don't see me leaving it anytime soon. Where do you see, I guess, the future for Gridiron here in Australia? It's getting so big. It's, yeah, it's growing so fast and um, there's actually an Australian on the sideline today, a guy that I coached at Sutherland, uh, Blake Muir, he's on the practice squad for Atlanta. The game's getting so big and it's growing so fast and yeah, it's looking good. Absolutely, I mean, we've been in contact with Lee quite a bit and uh, Tilly as well. So we can definitely see the growth happening around here in the Newcastle area, which is fantastic. So I guess just for our listeners, what would be the best, I guess, way for them to plug in to watch what's going on and to plug into the gridiron scene out here? Um, you know, all, all your forms of social media like Facebook and all that, you know, the Newcastle Cobras, the Hunter Gridiron League, where, you know, we're kicking off that in a couple of weeks and Corey and Lee run that and that's an amazing, uh, amazing league and it's just so much fun, like I'm playing in it, so, yeah, just through the social media, Newcastle Cobras on Facebook, Hunter Gridiron on Facebook and you've also got Gridiron New South Wales and for the guys that are not around the Hunter, you've got Central Coast Sharks. Then you've got teams all over Sydney as far down as Wollongong and, and stuff like that. So man, well, hey, fantastic hanging out with us, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. What, what do you got final score? What do you think? Atlanta, 24, Pats, 21. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't agree with you, but good prediction. It's going to be good. So you guys heard it first in the Grassroots Sports Podcast, hanging out here with Chris, head coach of the Cobras. I'm here with Alex. We're here at Super Bowl 51 here at Warner's at the Bay. Alex, chatted with you a bit earlier. Patriots fan. Patriots aren't looking too healthy. What are your thoughts? Uh, like, firstly, I'm not a Patriots fan. I just got them because it's a tipping competition I have with my mate for the last 18 years. Uh, he, we get to pick whoever uh, team, and I pick the Patriots, of course. I'm behind 21 0, so I'm not looking well. Uh, hopefully, they'll come back. And uh, something will happen. Brady's got to pull out. He's got to pull something out of that. Which he does, which we talked about earlier. He's that, he's that kid, right? The comeback yeah, kid. Absolutely. T- tell us a bit more about the uh, the tipping. Okay, this tipping cup, we've had uh, my mate Rob. We've been going since 2001. Uh, we always tip who's going to win. The loser gets a tip the, the next year. And that's how we've gone every year. This year he's tipped uh, the uh, the Falcons. Yep. And he's doing all right, which is not good for me. <laughs> so... Well, I have faith in you. I'm believing that you're going to pull it through. So, how, how about your Cowboys this year? Oh, look, they did well. They got up to the, the new quarterback, did a fantastic job. 
Um, he did all right. He, look, he got him to the what, two games away from the Super Bowl, which you can't ask for anything better. They, they were fantastic. So it, it, I can't ask for anything better. They did really, really well. Absolutely. So because we're in Australia here, we know that this is not our major sport. It's more of a, yeah. a grassroots sport here. How do you catch the games? How are you watching it? I uh, watch it on ESPN and Fox. Uh, that's how we catch our, our games. And uh, my mate, myself, Rob, who we do this with, always they uh, we had the good thing. He's a Viking supporter. And this year, the, the Cowboys beat the Vikings, smashed them, and we we're on the phone. And uh, it was fantastic. It was ab absolutely awesome. Absolutely. So you say you're from Sydney, correct? No, I'm from here. I'm from uh, oh, from here. Okay. All so some of the other ah, oh, the other ones. Are, so do you follow the gridiron scene here, Hunter's gridiron, and everything? Uh, I do. One of my uh, uh, daughter's friends, uh, daughter's teachers, uh, is involved in the gridiron here, and my uh, cousin is uh, one of the major players up there in um, in Queensland. Yeah. He runs it up there. So. Uh, I will appreciate it, Alex. Yeah, it's you. good having you on, and uh, good luck the rest. <laughs> Hope you, you pull it through on the clutch. Yeah. All right, we've got minute 31 here. And hold on, what do we say? Oh, well, here we go. Oh, no, you got to go through that. He wasn't hungry enough for it. Alex, pleasure. Thanks, Thanks mate. Lucy. Take care. I'm Quincy Kennedy with the Grassroots Sports, and as you can see, we finally hit gold here. Our third stop, Foghorn, and it is going off right now. Like we've been saying all day, this is officially lit. Super Bowl 51, Atlanta's still pulling through. Patriots are struggling just a bit, but it is going insane here. Such good vibes, so many NFL fans. It's unbelievable. It's so cool what we have going here in Australia with the NFL community. So I'm Quincy Kennedy with the Grassroots Sports. You're hanging out with us here at Foghorn. Brett, it is going down. It is lit inside of Foghorn right now. So many people here. It's jam-packed. We're watching Super Bowl 51, Tom Brady and the Patriots versus Matt Ryan and the Falcons. How are we going, mate? We're not going very good. We're, Brady's down. He's, he's getting torched by the Falcons, but yeah, that's no good either. <laughs> it's, it's, is he not the comeback kid, though? He is. He's ready. He's ready to go, but I mean, the Falcons are just red on, aren't they? Yeah. Smashing them, which is good for them. Like a defense is killing it first, uh, like what? First quarter, there's first two sacks of the game. They're doing fantastic. Talk to me, Brett. So, gridiron or football, as we call it in the States, is very much a grassroots sport here. Not really popular. You wouldn't know that looking around here. You'd think it would be the national sport. Yeah. But how did you get into gridiron and football, and how did you start watching the NFL? Madden. Madden. Yeah, yeah. Madden 99. Remember Mike Vick on the cover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got onto that. and Stole your heart. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. And from that, yeah, ESPN and all that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah, just got onto it from that. We got some BU students. They want to be on, so here we go. So what's going on with Tom Brady? I don't know. We just came into the game, so we're hoping to catch up and see what's going on. What were you doing the first half? Uh, we were out on a field trip in Hunter Valley. Yeah. Field trip in Hunter Valley. And they call themselves True Patriot fans. Rough biz, guys. So what is it going to take for them to win? A miracle at this point. A miracle. <laughs> a little bit. But Tom Brady's the comeback kid, right? Like, no, he is. But it's a little sad. Yeah, this is kind of depressing. Yeah, a little bit. How are we doing? We're good. Not right now, but... Yeah, yeah, not right now? Yeah, it's not looking too healthy for the Patriots. It's uh, not. Yeah, not, not usual for them, but... Yeah, this is a bit different. Like, usually don't we, see, we don't see them down by uh, 25 points in the third quarter, so... With um, four minutes to go, so we'll see how that turns out for them. So you guys are here studying abroad? Yeah, yeah, right. What's your degrees? Um, a health science. Science? Environmental science. Health science. Health science. Oh, all these health and sciences. I'm a business major myself, so. But yeah, also, I actually have a cousin that graduated from BU. So yeah, represent alumni, woot woot. Yeah, there we go. So uh, what is it going to take for uh, Tom Brady and the boys to pull it off? Maybe a miracle? <laughs> That's what I keep hearing, America. That's what I keep hearing, America. I'm here with my man, Graham. We had a bit of a chat earlier. We did. We're both great St. Louis fans. Absolutely. Now Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams. And we actually went way back when their jersey was still blue and white. We did. Yes, it, we did. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so tell me a bit about your uh, NFL background. Why are you wearing uh, Los Angeles Rams, actually St. Louis Rams St. Louis jersey, St. Louis, Louis Rams jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, tell us what you're doing here. Uh, here because I, I really love the game. Um, 
We're here with a few friends. We decided that we'd come down here today to have a few beers and, and watch the game. As you do. Absolutely. Uh, and, and like probably three quarters of the rest of the world, uh, really cheering for Atlanta. Uh, you know, the Patriots are a great side. I'm not going to say that. You know, a great side. Got a dynasty, but uh, so like most Australians, support the underdog. Uh, and certainly, I, I, you know, the Atlanta Falcons are the underdog. So we're here today just to have a cheer and a bit of fun. Yeah, uh, Atlanta's definitely the underdogs, and Australians definitely like their underdogs. Yeah, so absolutely. it definitely makes sense. Turn around for me. See, we got Marshall Falk on the back here. Turn around, yeah. So we see Marshall Falk, legendary St. Louis fan. Uh, he's true to my heart, along with the other guys we talked about, like Kurt Warner, yeah, who absolutely. is uh, part of the Hall of Fame as well. So, well, I wore the Mar Marshall Falk one today because it's the one most people identify with. But been a, a true. LA Rams fan. I've, I've got Eric Dixon. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I got I got Kurt Warner. Yeah, okay. got awesome. Sam Bradford. So yeah, you know, got I got about seven Ram shirts. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. True fan. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I'm here with my friend Robert and my friend Ryan here. A couple of uh, actually one American, yeah. one Aussie. We actually don't know what Ryan is because he's been back and forth a bit. I'm African Australian. Yeah. Uh, he's African Australian. Been to America quite a bit. Married to an American. Married to an American. Being from South Africa and being here in Australia, how have you got into the NFL culture here? No, absolutely. I mean, uh, for us, we're both pastors, so Mondays is day off, and that works out real well yeah, with the NFL being on Mondays. So that's kind of at least how I start the day on a Monday is watching football and growing up on rugby, but NFL, love it. It's not looking too good for the Patriots. Uh, I think you're an Atlanta fan yourself. Uh, I'm kind of an Atlanta fan, Niner fan. Terrible team right now, but hey, might as well go for the red, right? How do you feel about Jared Haynes when he went over? Uh, you know, I was rooting for Jared Haynes. You know, it was kind of like a chance for Aussies to actually embrace gridiron on a whole different level. So I feel like that experiment failed, but uh, I was pulling for him. All right, so what's the predictions for the game, guys? Right now we know Atlanta's kind of taking it, but Tom Brady's known as the comeback kid. So what's your predictions? Well, I think uh, it's... The Falcons are pretty unstoppable right now, but you can't count Brady out, man. He's a stud. He knows how to do this. But it's going to be tough to stop the Falcons. They got a powerhouse offense, and they, and yeah, their their defense is emerging. So Falcons, man, rise up. Final score, Ryan. Oh gosh, I, th I think Atlanta will go in still maybe one or two more times. So. I don't know. They might do what they did to Green Bay a couple of weeks back, and you know, might get to the 40s maybe. I don't know. I'm here with Sean, one of the owners here at Foghorn. Sean, how are we going? Yeah, great. It's been a great day so far. And yeah. Absolutely. It's fantastic. So we have the Super Bowl right now going on, Super Bowl 51 inside of your pub, and it is going off right now. Like, it's super legit. This is not the first time you did this, right? No, we did it uh, last year. We've only been open almost two years, and we, we gave it a go last year, and um, we're amazed at the turnout. Like, we, we were... Not as full as today, but we're at least half this last year, and we thought this year, you know, let's let's really promote it well, and we've got the you know set menu for it. We've got the big screen going, and um, yeah, the, the town's really supported it. It's been really good. Cool. So when I moved out here, everyone was like, "You guys got to get to Foghorn," yeah, you know, because of that whole American vibe and the American food. So I guess give me a bit of background about that. Why did you guys decide to go that route with the American menu, Philly cheesesteak, and some of the more American traditions? Yeah. Well, my uh, business partner uh, James is from the US by background, and um, we, you know, and, and the brew pub model, the the, the uh, craft brewery on site with the uh, the restaurant, um, and you know, selling your own beer through your own taps, that's a really US craft thing, um, and it's really popular over in the states. And we decided to bring a bit of that to Newcastle. And at the time when we were setting it up, particularly in the, with the menu, uh, there really wasn't a lot of it around. There's a few other places that have opened up now that are, are doing some similar things but you know getting a proper Philly cheesesteak um, you know when you've got James uh, on board he was very direct of what was right what was wrong you know and how to do it right and and uh, and things you know with the the Super Bowl and and you know we have the basketball and we have the um, the uh, baseball and so on uh, as well and we get a you know we get a lot of people that are expats from the states that actually come here for that reason um, and I think you know maybe the reason yeah we did promote it well but I think you know, it's a it's a bit more of an authentic U.S. vibe and a bit more of an experience. If you're going to come out for um, for the Super Bowl, you want to go somewhere where there's a bit of a vibe. And and you know, um, and Riley 
our manager put some real effort into it too. You know, we had the uh, the field goal kickoff at, uh, at half time, and you know, and uh, yeah, it's that's been good. Absolutely. So just to dive a bit deeper, um, talking about you know the people here and the American vibe. Do you find that you get quite a few Americans in here, or do you find that it's more Australians who wish they were Americans? <laughs> like, I guess, like, what's the culture like here? Yeah, look, we do get um, plenty of uh, tourists and visitors from America. You'd be surprised how many people are working in the area, a lot out of the university and, and so on. We do get quite a few US visitors in, but no, by, by far uh, our uh, main clientele are the locals. Um, and uh, no, I don't, I don't know that they're necessarily wanting to be American as such. But uh, look, there's no question um, American food, American uh, culture in, in general. Um, in, in terms of the bar culture at the moment is is pretty popular and um, and you know I mean, American uh, football and, and so on is so well promoted and, and and again there's a bit of an underground culture in uh, in Newcastle and in Australia generally of people that really like um, you know supporting the NFL and whatever that that are just looking for somewhere to get you know around like-minded people yeah absolutely yeah not every venue has it and, you know and, and yeah look the whole of Newcastle doesn't stop for the Super Bowl. But uh, this, you, you can see, I mean, we've probably got 200 people in here today and, and it's buzzing, you know. I'm surprised that all of Australia doesn't stop for the Super Bowl. It's a great event to stop for. Epic Super Bowl Monday, great finish by the Patriots, what an amazing comeback by Tom Brady and the boys, wrapping it up 34-28 in overtime, had a fantastic time, three stops, wrapping it up at Foghorn, what an amazing event we had, super pumped, super great time, Super Bowl Monday's in the books, and uh, now that I'm going to finish my game and see if we can't get Tom Brady's sixth ring. Faces, Charles, as you and I have talked about, seven first.